Hello, this is Bob Parks. As part of the Southwest Wing Spring Fling, I'm going to be talking about the bees of Arizona. This is an image of the Huachuca Mountains, photographed January 23rd, 2010. This is winter with a bit more snow to come, and yet the first native bees are starting to come out. Mel andrina, a mining bee. Males of most species of nitty bees appear before the females. Photograph January 22nd. Andrina is one of the largest bee groups or genera with 1,400 species in the world. Andrina, Andrina seracifolia, Andrina are ground nesting bees, commonly called minor bees. Here, a female is checking flight conditions. And once she sees a photographer, she backs down the hole. Andrina, commonly known as minor bee, and you can see that this one's been mining by the amount of dirt on her back. Andrina seracifolia female, being a minor bee is dirty work. Andrina, Andrina in general, females are solitary. The adult female builds her own nest, constructs several cells, provides them with pollen and nectar. Point leaf manzanita, one of the first plants to flower. And this is a bee's eye view. Andrina seracifolia female is cutting a hole into the side of a point leaf manzanita flower. See how her legs are covered in pollen? She is one of the main pollinators of manzanita. So she cuts this hole. She's actually uh, making contact with the stigma. Andrina seracifolia, these bees have short tongues in order to get a drink of nectar, it is necessary to make an opening near the nectar areas. <clears throat> if an insect makes a hole or slit into a flower to access nectar, it may be called nectar robbing. In this case, with Andrina seracifolia, she pays in full for her nectar by pollination. This Eucera is longhorn bee. This male indeed has long horns or antennae. Females do not. This fast flying male has a long tongue and easily reaches the fuel, the nectar inside the flower. Nomada is a cuckoo bee, a kleptoparasite. Uh, they lay their eggs in the nest of other bees. The female can often be seen wandering close to the ground, searching for the nest of Andrina, or other, certain other species of nomada will do the same with other species of bees. The larvae have large pincher-like mandibles, which they will attack the defenseless uh, seracifolia larvae or egg. Nomada female, thermal regulating, basking, and the sun's ray on a cool morning. Osmia foxi is mason bee, um, member of the Megacology. Uh, members of this group include the leaf cutting bees. Females carry pollen on the underside of the abdomen, except for those species which are themselves kleptoparasites. Osmia ribiflorus, vitamin I male. Osmia ribiflorus is utilized, produced to pollinate various plants by, by man. Osmia ribiflorus male has the long, is a long tongue bee, 
and it's getting nectar from point leaf manzanita flower. And I'll ask me a rib of florist females at work chewing on a manzanita leaf. This will be formed into a ball which she will carry back to her nest, constructing the partitions between nest cells and as a final nest plug. Osmia <clears throat> Rebiflorus female entering her nest. Osmia females form a linear series of cells, each containing a pollen and nectar mass, and one egg that will be deposited on this. Nests are constructed in various cavities, often in abandoned beetle boys. And this picture is in a man-made nest block. Sapigid, this is a wasp. These wasps are very sneaky. They can be seen staking out an osmia nest, waiting for the osmia to leave its nest and providing an opportunity to enter and lay her egg. Sapigid is, this one has been successful. Had it encountered the osmia, it would have lost several antennal segments. Osmia Paul Mala male, photographed at Coronado National Monument, and I have never yet seen the female of this species. This Helictus female, another short tongue bee, a secondary robber. This would be considered a nectar thief as she is using a hole probably made by pre, undoubtedly made by a previous bee. And some helictus are social insects. Lazioglossum female, short tongued bee, though she is at the corolla's opening. Some lazioglossum are solitary, other species are social. And one species is known the female uh, with queen can live six years. The largest of all bee genera, over 1,700 species worldwide. This is the orange tip wood borer, Lithogopsis apicalis. These are megachylid bees with a female that carry pollen on the underside of the abdomen. Female has a red tipped abdomen. The same species has lost most of that red coloration in, in southern Arizona. These bees are common in Apuntia cactus flowers. The nests and old agave stalks and sometimes in decaying cottonwood. Um, they provision their nests with a cactus pollen. This is orange tipped wood borer male on a choya waiting for a female. Bombus, uh, bumblebees. This is Bombus sonoris, a female. This is an overwintered female. She has mated the previous fall and if successful, will start a colony. This is the species encountered at 5,000 feet elevation in Cochise County. Other bumblebee species may be encountered at higher elevations. And this is the honeybee, Apis mellifera. Honeybees have been kept by a man for thousands of years. They are a source of honey, wax, and for medicinal purposes, honey. And lately, uh, in man's history, they have kept to pollinate certain crops. Honeybees are major pollinators of many important crops. And here you will see a male honeybee, the non-native uh, Apis mellifera is only one of approximately eight species of honeybees. Honeybees have been kept by man for thousands of years. Mm. There's a this is a drone and captured by a robber fly. Male honeybees mate in flight. You note the large eyes, the better to spot the female. Well, a female honeybee 
mates a number of times a male mates once and, do, and in doing so loses his endophallus and dies. To add insult to injury, the female uh, queen honeybee may live several years. This is Centrus K. salpinia, an oil bee. Centrus are large, powerful flying, ground nesting bees. Females have a special, specialized combs on their legs, which are used to scrape the glands of oil producing plants. The oils, along with chemicals the female bee produces, waterproof the underground burrow and nest cells. Okay. This species nests in colonies, one of which had 423,000 individual nests, which produced an estimated 1,615,000 adult bees. I hope you enjoyed the talk. Thanks for supporting Southwest Wings. This is Bob Parks.